right, all right. I can see the point. The marriage in Vegas wasn't legal. But that doesn't mean that my love for you was a scam. That's exactly what it was. You love my money. That's what it was about from the start. At the start, at the start. But not from the start. Things changed. My heart took over. And then you got in for the ride and you know, come on, you love me, Tracy. I know you love me. I did. Past tense. You are not gonna throw away everything that we've meant to each other. Really? Watch me. Oh, come on, please. So the Vegas marriage was a uh, fake. So what? So what? If you think about it, objectively, it was really kind of beautiful. It was pure. It was joyful. It was mad. And then somewhere along the way, this, this, us, we, this thing here, this became real. Oh, my. You played me for a fool. You don't believe that. I do believe that. I cannot wait to get out of this hellhole so I can put as much distance between us as possible. Then I will devote myself to making you rue the day you ever donned a cowboy hat. Well, that'll never happen, little lady. Do you know what I want to do first thing? I want to gather up all your possessions. And then I want to light a match. And then I want to have a healing, cleansing on fire. That's cold. That is really cold. But we'll face that fire when we get to it, if we ever get to it. Right now, there's a small army of flying monkeys on the other side of those bars. And whether you're done with me or not, we have got to work together. Well, will you look at that? The Prince of Darkness. You here to walk us to the gallows? Before I answer your question, I need a bit more information. How do I know Helena didn't lock you in here for a good reason? And people call the quarter maids crazy. Do you actually think there is a good reason to throw people in dungeons? That lunatic you call a grandmother almost killed me. That's right. If it hadn't been for my unerring love, support, and devotion, she'd be dead. No. No, actually, it was your uncharacteristic moment of honesty where you admitted that we're not legally married that snapped me back into health, both physical and mental. So Helena did me a favor. You can thank her if you escort me out. Us, escort us out. No, there is no us. You can hang my phony husband from the nearest gargoyle. I don't care, just let me go. But hold on just a second. Nicholas, don't even think about keeping me in here a minute I'm longer. not, Tracy, but he's not staying either. We'll have you both flown out right away. Well, that's awfully big of you, brother. What's up, Dan? Hi. Tracy? Ethan told me not to get involved. He said there was some plan that I could be messing up. Is that true? Yeah, Helena's plan. She uh, kidnapped her, used her as bait, knowing that I would follow. Where is the bitch? Is she around here? Do you know? According to the servants, Luke, no. But then again, they told me you weren't being held prisoner. Okay, look, forgive me if I skip the post-mortem. You get me to a five-star hotel, or I will make your life miserable. Okay, Tracy, no need for threats. Ari's waiting for you at the top of the stairs. I'll take you to Athens, both of you. No, I don't have to be asked twice. Good man. <sighs> See? I was releasing Luke and Tracy just like I said I would when I found them. Is this where I'm supposed to be grateful? Don't wait for it. You're still mistaking me for the enemy, Lucky. Take a look around, Nicholas. This is an underground dungeon. Your grandmother grabbed my dad and Tracy and tossed them down here like bags of garbage. Who the hell does that? Do you have any idea how sick and insane this is? Yes, of course I do. But Helena's not playing this game by herself. Luke's playing right along. Come on, they, you know, they get off on this madness. No, I didn't. I was just going about my life. 
It was a good life, by the way. And Helena took me out of it one day and made everyone think I was dead. She locked me up, messed with my head. My soul she tried to break me down into something that she could control, and then she sent me back to the people who loved me the most like a ticking time bomb. I know that. There are pieces of me I never got back. And all this time, since your affair with Elizabeth blew up in our faces, did you ever ask yourself why I held on to her so tightly? Why I tried so hard to, to recreate a time when the love that we shared was, was real and pure, unmauled by someone as, as cruel and sadistic as Helena? It's because Elizabeth represented everything that was taken from me. And our past was the only thing that kept me grounded in our present. And then you came along and you ruined it without a thought other than your own self-gratification. So tell me, how can I look at you knowing all of that and not see an enemy? What Helena did to you was terrible, okay? But lucky it wasn't about me or because of me. You just got caught up in the Cassidy and Spencer war machine, that's all. But if you're, if you're held down on making me the enemy, it's because you want me to be. Yeah, you're, you're using what happened to, to Luke and Tracy as an excuse because you'd rather hate me than believe that Elizabeth and I actually chose to be together. This isn't about Elizabeth. It's about the brother I trusted who betrayed me. I don't forgive you. And I never will. Okay, then. <laughs> Never leave the keys in the door. Really? So you're gonna play it like this? It's an empty gesture. Someone will let you out soon enough. In the meantime, why don't you enjoy a little taste of what it felt like to be me for a while?